Hey everybody, it's Megan. As always, I hope all of you are doing well. Today is going to be a different kind of video. We're not going to be doing, I know it's a shocker, Louis Vuitton bag reviews or unboxings. We're going to be talking YSL, St. Laurent. Comparison review between the Lulu envelope and puffer bags. Before we jump right into it, and by the way, I'm very excited to jump right into it. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel, I kindly invite you to do so. Join my luxury community by clicking that subscribe button you see located right down there below on your screen. Also, by clicking that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So let's jump right in, you guys. Guys, again, we're going to be talking envelope bag, Lulu bag, puffer bag. And this is for any of you guys that may be interested in any one of these bags. So let me just add, I'm going to tell you guys what I think. I think hopefully you will concur with me. The best bag is out of all three. And we'll do that after mod shots and after all the fun stuff. But yeah, let's start off with the Lulu bag. This is the size small. It does come in at a price of $2,950 US dollars. For a small, let's just jump right into the envelope. It's very comparable to the medium size envelope, which does retail same price, $2,950 US dollars. I don't know if you noticed by the thumbnail, I really like these bags. So much so, in fact, with the envelope in the Lulu bag, this beige was the first one that I did get. And it was quickly, well, not that quickly followed by, but it was followed by the black on black, which I think is absolutely beautiful. And then with the envelope bag, I did actually actually get this one before I got the other one, the beautiful black and silver. I do believe I got this one first. And then with the puffer bag, I have it in one color, but I want more. <laughs> and yeah, it's the silver hardware with kind of a cream type of leather. Very, very beautiful. So going back to the Lulu bag, let's first start off with the differences between this and the envelope bag. I notice I get a lot of questions in regard to the Lulu and the envelope. Both of these feature calf skin leather, whereas the puffer features lambskin leather. So difference in that. These are going to be identical when it comes to leather. But when it comes to the structure of the bag, you guys can see very, very different. The Lulu is definitely going to be considered more of a casual bag, one that can be turned into an evening bag, but I would definitely not consider it as elegant. Let me just go ahead and switch my envelope bags to give this one a little bit of attention. This bag is extremely structured. The hardware on the Lulu as well as the puffer bag is going to be that antique hardware. This is a bronze hardware. Whereas with the envelope bag, you guys can see, and I'm a huge fan of it, it does have the very, very shiny hardware, which I am just extremely drawn to. I find it so very beautiful. Let me go ahead and show it to you on my other envelope bag. Very, very shiny and does not dull. I've owned these bags. I would say I've owned this one for about at least a year and a half and the other one for at least two years. I can definitely say that the hardware will not, well, let me just not say that and call it in and then it happens and it dulls, but so far so good. <laughs> the hardware has not lessened with its beautiful shine. All bags are going to feature a magnetic closure to get in and out of the bag. That was the Lulu. Here is the envelope, more structured again, as you guys can see. And then the puffer does have the magnetic closure as well. So going inside of the bag, let's do a quick comparison. The Lulu is going to have a front pocket right here, a middle compartment right there, and then a back area right there, and then a little pocket right here. Whereas with the envelope bag, it is quite different, let me say. And again, this is the medium size in the Lulu is the small size, very comparable. The interior is one big open space. Now I am going to be doing mod shots for you guys as well as what fits in these bags. And I'm actually quite curious to see what fits in this envelope bag in comparison to the Lulu and the Puffer. Again, these bags do come in different sizes. Envelope is going to come in small, medium, large. Lulu is going to come in at small, medium, large, and then the puffer is going to come in, interestingly enough, toy, small, medium. And let me add something because I just remembered when it comes to the Lulu, I take it back. There are more than three sizes. It does come in a toy, 
This is the small, there is a medium, and there is a large. So again, price points of the small Lulu envelope bag are going to each be $2,950 US dollars, where this toy puffer comes in at a price of $2,290 US dollars. When it comes to, again, let's go back to the exterior of the envelope in the Lulu. The Lulu is just going to have an opening and it does not have a pocket. Whereas with the envelope bag, when you turn it around, you will see a pocket. But I said, this is definitely a very structured bag. This is definitely a very structured pocket, as you can see. Although it is quite wide, I would say that you could not fit in a thick wallet, if that makes sense, because it is so very structured. But how beautiful the back of this bag is, as well as the side, bottom, and front. Now, when it comes to the interior of the toy puffer, it's actually quite roomy for a toy because you can see it has stretched to it. Now, obviously, we don't want to stretch it to the point where we hurt the leather but yeah you guys can see there's a lot of stretch there and there is a back zipper pocket and I'm trying to see if it's roomy actually it is quite roomy as you guys can see you could definitely fit in a card holder things of that nature maybe lipstick lip gloss now the puffer obviously gives off a puffy look it's very different than the other two bags and it does feature a lambskin leather whereas I did say the other two bags Lulu in the envelope do feature a calfskin leather so yeah this is lambskin and very beautiful I must say moving on with the exterior of the bag it's basically just wrap around leather like the Lulu there is no compartments so basically it's just open it up what you see is what you get and again you do fit a lot in there let's quickly talk about these changes straps you guys again going back to the Lulu and the envelope bag they both are going to offer the same versatility as in you are going to be able to wear this bag over the shoulder doubled up like this and then by simply dropping the chain you automatically have a much longer over the shoulder bag or could be worn cross body it's the same exact way like I said with the Lulu. You could wear it doubled up over the shoulder. Very, very cute. I will be doing mod shots very soon here. Or if you'd like, by simply dropping this chain, you can wear this easily as a crossbody bag, longer over the shoulder bag, and yes, like I said, a shorter over the shoulder bag. So let's go ahead, head on into the other room. I am ready for some fun, you guys. Let's do this. <laughs> I love trying on luxury bags. Time to try on bags, fun. What I'm going to do is go ahead and try on the Lulu envelope and toy puffer. I'll wear them each a certain way. So the first time I'll wear it crossbody, all three bags and then I'll wear it over the shoulder all three bags and then toe style all three bags starting off with the Lulu non-adjustable strap again and yeah looks like this I am 5'8 weigh about 135 pounds so I think it's a gorgeous bag you guys very beautiful and this beige color I just can't get enough of and obviously when we're choosing a bag the color means a lot to us so I can go ahead and try this on in the black on black as well and here it is oh I'm such a big fan of the black on black you guys I know Gucci sells the black on black very very cute but yeah, I love the YSL too, what can I say? So it looks like this, and yeah, I mean, the black is obviously just gonna be a great seasonal color. I think YSL honestly did a pretty good job with the length that they chose, because even if this were higher up on my body, I still think it would be quite cute. And if it was even lower on my body, I'd have no problem with that. Let's get into the envelope bags. I'm just gonna stick with the route of black for this envelope bag. This bag is definitely gonna give off a much more dressier look, but still, even with this casual outfit, I think it definitely works, you guys. And I will say, it upgrades my outfit in a tremendous way. What can I say? <laughs> because it is dressy. Now let me go ahead and quickly try on the Blanc the cream, I'll just call it, with the gold hardware. It really just stands out so elegantly, and yeah, again, it just really dresses up the outfits. Now, if you guys can imagine wearing this bag, this envelope bag, with any type of dressy outfit, say, for example, you're going to a wedding, or a dinner party, something of that sort, this bag would be the perfect 
bag for such an occasion. And I think it's wonderful really that you can wear it with a casual outfit and it will really dress you up <laughs> that much more. So last but definitely not least, I'm going to try on that toy puffer. Difference with the toy puffer is the toy puffer, we can actually adjust the length to the strap. So let me go ahead and grab that. I'm just going to leave it on the setting that it's on so you guys have an idea as to how it naturally falls. And this is how it actually falls. Now, if you compare it to the envelope bag, the Lulu bag, you will notice that it's falling a little bit lower. That is why it's absolutely wonderful that you can adjust this. I cannot emphasize that enough. That is the wonderful thing about the toy puffer. So I'll go ahead and make my little knot. Now let me go ahead and show you crossbody. I'll be honest, I really love the way this hits me naturally. So it'll probably be a little bit too short for me, but I'm just giving you guys an idea. If you happen to be on the shorter side or you just want it higher up on your body. So this is how it would look. Again, you guys, the versatility with the toy puffer in comparison to Envelope, Lulu, you cannot adjust those straps, not in any way, strap extenders, doesn't matter. But with this one, you can. And when you wanna go ahead and wear it over the shoulder, I guess we'll start off with the puffer, right? <laughs> you can go ahead, it's on this length, which I actually really, really like, and have it adjusted like that. If I wanted to take this little knot out, I can show you what this looks like on its natural length over the shoulder. So it does look like this. It comes rather low. Honestly, I liked it higher up on my body. Again, I'm loving the fact that we can adjust this strap. So looks like this over the shoulder. Let me go ahead and grab that Lulu and show you the two different ways you could wear that bag over the shoulder. On the longest length, it's going to look like this. And I think it's very, very pretty. I must say I've worn it like this quite a few times and I just think it's gorgeous. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and adjust the straps. And how cute is that? This bag just stands out in such a beautiful way. I love it. I know the adjectives are very positive <laughs> when I'm talking about these bags, but I'm being completely transparent and honest. Before I grab the envelope, let me quickly grab my black Lulu and show you guys what that bag looks like over the shoulder. It does look like this. Very pretty, very low key. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that the black on black, it's just not going to be as noticeable, right? Unless you're pretty close to the person that's wearing the bag. But that's what really draws me to the black on black. I think it's beautiful. It's just such a pretty length. I just really love it, you guys. And then let me go ahead, show you over the shoulder. Looks like this. You see how easy it was just to adjust that. Love it. So looks like this, very, very pretty, and stands out in a very non-in-your-face type of way, if that makes sense. <laughs> so let me go ahead and grab the envelope bag and do the same thing. And again, I will grab the black one because I was just wearing my other black bag. Longest length, it's to here. You know, I think this envelope is going to be a little bit, just a little bit longer on the longest setting than the Lulu. So looks like this, very beautiful, I'm in love, what can I say? And then let's shorten it a bit over the shoulder. Yes, you guys. So let me go ahead and try on my cream. I guess the formal name is Blanc version of it. Just one moment. And when it comes to deciding what color you want, what hardware to go with that color, I would give this advice. You obviously see this bag. You saw my black and silver bag. They're gorgeous. My advice is this. Always go with the bag you find yourself thinking about most. Because in my experience, that's exactly what I've done. And it's worked out perfectly for me. <laughs> so yeah, looks like this over the shoulder. I know I mentioned it with my other envelope bag, but yeah, I'm just loving the way that it dresses up a casual outfit. Because when I use my envelope bags, it's always to formal type of events. That's definitely going to change. It's just a stunner bag, what can I say? Let me quickly grab my beige one so we can do a side-by-side -side comparison here and they look like this next to each other. What I can do is put it over the shoulder like so, put this one over the shoulder like so, and do a side by side. So here we have the envelope bag, here we have the Lulu bag. Envelope bag, Lulu bag. Which one do you guys like more? It's a very tough decision, I must say. Because of the hardware, this one definitely does stand out more. However, this one is just so cute. I can't get over it. Now we'll do this side-by-side -side comparison, you guys. Okay, what do we think? 
envelope bag, Lulu bag. You know what's interesting? I think as a cross body, I like the Lulu better. And then over the shoulder, I think I like the envelope. So yeah, I hope this gives a good idea to you guys as to how these bags look over the shoulder, cross body. So let's go back into the other room, do a quick what's in my bag and figure out what is the best bag out of the envelope, Lulu, and puffer. So what we're going to do now is see what fits in these bags compared to each other. And I'm going to be moving really quick guys because I do value your time. For the SLGs that I chose, I have to be completely honest. And honesty means you have to have something inside the piece if you're going to put the piece inside the bag. So I put cosmetics in here, a compact, a lipstick, a lip gloss. And with my sunglass case holder, I put in my sunglasses, a pair of them. So I'm going to start off with my Lulu bag. And like I showed you guys before two pockets right here and a inner pocket right there so i guess i will try to fit my toiletry in and then i'll go ahead and use my beautiful by the pool mini pochette in the emperor's pink i love this so very much and yes i did stick a compact and lipstick in there and then of course i need a phone this is the samsung s23 ultra let's see if it fits in the pocket and i'm speaking of that inner pocket right there it does not so i'll go ahead and put it right next to the mini pochette it fits in like so. Let's see if we could fit anything else in. I definitely need my four key holder. I'll stick that in there. Now let's see if the sunglass case holder fits. And you know what, it does, but I really have a strong feeling I'm not gonna be able to fit anything else in here, you guys. So that is what it looks like. I can try to use a Zippy coin purse wallet. This one, I love it. This is from the Game On collection. I could never sell this one, it's too, too pretty. Let me see, you know what, I can't do it. You know why? Because whenever it goes like this, we know we're gonna be stretching the leather. So let's just see how these items work when we go to close the bag. And it looks like this, okay. It works. The question I need to ask myself is, is it affecting the leather? Is it stretching the leather? The answer is no. It all fits in perfectly. Now let me go ahead and quickly transfer these items over and see what can fit in this medium size envelope. Again, you guys, small Lulu, medium envelope. First and foremost, I had my toiletry 15. I'll go ahead, stick it in there. And then I did have, I do believe I put in my mini pochette next, I think. So let me get that out and stick it in here. Let me try to move forward. I did have a phone, that's very important. Toilet 215 mini pochette and phone fits in here comfortably. Fortunately though, these are my essentials. I really don't need anything else except my four key holder. Let's see if we can get that to fit because it is a four key holder, it doesn't take up that much room. So I will go ahead and close it and it does fit. But you guys, literally, I could not fit in anything more than that. If I did, it would stretch the leather, that's a fact. So it does fit in perfectly. Again, what I was able to fit in this bag was my four key holder, my phone, my mini pochette, and my toiletry 15. The one thing I was not able to fit in that I did fit in my small Lulu, I guess you could say it takes up a little bit of room, my sunglass case holder. But I do find it again quite interesting that the small Lulu fits a little bit more than the medium size envelope. However, I do find them to be spacious enough to fit all of my essentials and I really just don't need more space than that. Now I'm just really curious to see out of those items what would fit in my toy puffer. I'll go ahead, stick my phone in, my mini pochette. I'll go ahead and try my sunglass case holder. That does fit. I need my four key holder. That fits, but it's getting quite snug as you guys can see. So last but not least that I did have in my bag was the toiletry 15. I would be shocked. No, it's not going to fit. <laughs> it's definitely not going to fit. Let's go ahead, snap this closed. Again, we do not want to hurt any leather. So yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. The one thing I was not able to fit in, my toiletry 15. So I would really say that the Lulu fits the most. And after that, I think the toy Lulu 
in the envelope bag. Now, again, <laughs> this is a toy. This is a medium. Very, very comparable as far as what fits in these bags. I find that to be fascinating. So again, I'm absolutely blown away as far as what fits in each of these bags in comparison to each other. I hope I did give a good explanation, a good what fits in my bag, showed you good mod shots and details of the bag to help you make an informed decision if you happen to be interested in any of these bags. So now's the time where I'm going to ask you, what is your opinion on these bags? Which one do you find to be the very best? And when I say the very best, I'm speaking of the ones that I have right here in front of me. The Toy Puffer, which still has the items inside. And actually, it's not even heavy. I really, really enjoy this, I must say. <laughs> the Small Lulu and the Medium Envelope. Which is going to be your favorite best bag? I'd love to know. I always call myself a Louis Vuitton lover, but as you can see, I'm also a luxury lover. Extended, believe it or not, outside of Louis Vuitton. So I'd love to know what you guys think. I'll go ahead and tell you what I think. Considering everything, the details, the look of the bag, what fits in the bag, my personal favorite, it's a really tough one, you guys. But at the end of the day, I would have to go with the small Lulu. I have to interject everything right now, you guys. I apologize. Do you notice a difference in the tone of my voice, the sound of my voice, the volume of my voice? My microphone, of course, decided to go out on me. Don't you just love that? <laughs> but I will get a new one. But if you guys could just up the volume on your video, I'd greatly appreciate it. But yes, I will definitely get a new microphone for my next video. I can't say that every single day I'm going to want my casual outfit to be dressed up, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm getting the same versatility from day to night. Also, I'm able to fit a little bit more inside. Also, the look of the bag is just so gorgeous. I really wish I could kind of sort of take, you know, the shiny hardware and add it to this bag, but then again, it wouldn't be this bag. I think the antique hardware is absolutely beautiful. The Lulu is really my favorite bag out of all three, and I really recommend it. I actually recommend all of them because, as I said before, I've had these bags in my collection for a few years now, and they haven't gone anywhere, and I have no plans on them going to any new home anytime soon. I'd love to know what you think. What is your favorite bag? I told you mine. I'd love to know yours. If you guys happen to have any comments or questions on the bags that I went over, the small Lulu, the medium envelope, or the beautiful toy puffer, please do leave them in the comment section below. And if you happen to own any of the sizes of the Lulu envelope and puffer, I'd love to know what is your experience has been. Do you like the bag? Do you have reservations? I'd just love to know your opinions. So that'll be it, you guys. Again, any comments or questions, greatly appreciated. I say it all the time because I mean it all the time. I love hearing from you. Now's the time within the video where I'm going to completely transition topics as I typically do from speaking about luxury to speaking about something that's definitely more insightful, meaningful, and inspirational. Today, I'm going to go over the very important topic of the power of your spiritual armor. What do I mean when I say spiritual armor and how do I define the power of it? Our spiritual armor is going to be what protects us when the battle is taking place in the mind. And when I say spiritual armor, I truly mean the word, the word in the Bible, the word that protects you from all of the things that try to attack you spiritually and steal your peace. God has given you everything you need to live a peace-filled, prosperous, happy life. The key to obtaining that is to truly understand that many times in life, there is a battle that is going on within our minds. I know inside my spirit that God gave me a great gift when he let me know that I had power over that enemy that would attack my mind throughout my life. And I can truly attest to the fact that, yes, I've been through some bad, hard situations, and I've truly just come out of each situation a better person. And that's all because of God. He tells us in the Bible to cast our cares upon him, to literally just let go. It can be so hard to let go of things that are just holding us down. Say, for example, anger, unforgiveness, guilt, sadness. No matter what the situation may be that's causing it or person that's causing it, the point is God can take it off your hands. And sometimes it can seem that's just too good to be true. 
God can't take on those problems. How can he fix those problems for me? But you guys, in my own life, I promise you, I've been there. I've had situations in my life where I felt like, oh my goodness, no, God just couldn't take on that problem. And sometimes I felt to myself, I should just take it on myself because if I do, then I'm dealing with it. I take the load off of God, all of that. But it simply does not work that way. And I have learned that and I have come back from those learning experiences to share with you. There are going to be times in life, especially when we're feeling stressed or down, that the enemy will come after us. And if you are facing a situation right now that's very, very stressful, or perhaps you have a stressful situation coming up, I highly suggest to put on your spiritual armor. I highly suggest holding on to God's promises in the Bible and understanding that he will always take care of you. Hold on to good things. Think of good things. The Bible tells us, God instructs us through the Bible to think of things that are of a good rapport. Why does he tell us to do that? It's spiritual armor. When we focus on the blessings in our life and we focus on the good things in life, that keeps the enemy away. The battle truly does take place in the mind. Wearing your spiritual armor is going to keep you at peace because you're connected with God. And when you're connected with God, there's no greater feeling because again, what is the definition of happiness? It's having peace in your spirit. So I urge you guys to wear your spiritual armor, follow God's word, listen and pay attention to the promises he's made in the Bible for you. Work with them and understand to the fullest that you deserve to be living the most peaceful, happy, prosperous, wonderful life possible. He is always there. He will never leave you. Whether you are right, whether you are wrong, he loves you so very much and he will never forsake you. That is a wonderful thing. Let's honor our father by doing our very best to make him happy by living our happiest lives. And a lot of that has to do with wearing our spiritual armor, listening to the word of God and using that to combat any type of negative force that comes against you in this life. So that's what I have to say on the topic of the power of your spiritual armor. I really could just go on and on and on and on about that topic, but I will stop <laughs> right there. If you guys happen to have any comments or questions on that topic and or any comments or questions on the beautiful bags that I went over, I'd still love to know your opinion, you guys. Which one do you like best? The YSL envelope bag, the YSL Lulu bag, or that YSL toy puffer? And again, if you happen to own any of those bags in any sizes, please let me know. I'd love to know your thoughts on them. So that's gonna be it, you guys. I'm very excited about my next video. I have to get a microphone, as you know. <laughs> I'll be doing that right away. Looking forward to it. It's definitely going to be an exciting topic. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So if you didn't make it to the end of this video, I greatly thank you. Until my next, you guys take care. I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Bye.